sometimes on the psychic plane I hear that people feel that they have a soul but they just don't relate to their soul or they don't have a relationship with their soul. I hear that most often from scientific people and uh, because they're working mostly with their left brain, their logical brain in their scientific work and I think it takes uh, the right side of the brain, the intuitive side, to begin to develop a relationship with the soul. So it has to do with lack of whole brain function, lack of cosmic mind, lack of connection with universal mind, the notion that we do have a soul, the understanding that we do, without the uh, the sensitivity, the intuitive feeling that it's important, it's, it's vitally important to talk to our soul. So the connection of the body and the mind and the emotions with the soul is strengthened by thoughts of the soul and uh, speech with the soul, asking the soul for, petitioning the soul for help. Petitioning the soul for help, aligning with the purpose and the mission of the soul, those things strengthen our soul connection. Ignoring the soul has the opposite effect. And going against the purpose and mission of the soul have an even stronger effect of attenuating the thread or cord connecting our subtle bodies with the soul. So um, constantly acting against the the hopes and the, in fact the very nature of the soul eventually causes the cord that connects our subtle bodies, our ego, our awareness with the soul to snap. And that results in the state we call soullessness the soulless man or the soulless woman. Conversely, if we find ourselves in a state of attenuated connection with the soul, paying more and more attention to alignment with the soul purpose and mission, to conversations with the soul, to respect for and awareness of the soul, will make that connection stronger and stronger and us into healthier and more vibrant and more complete human beings.